Aquanauts Holiday Japanese, Akuano to no Shu Ri Hepburn, Aquanaut no Kaijutsu is a video game for the PlayStation developed by Artdink. The game is an underwater simulation in which the player assumes the role of an overworked marine explorer who returns to the water for pleasure after having brought harmony to the world's oceans. Aquanauts Holiday was followed by a few Japan exclusive sequels on various PlayStation consoles. Topic: Gameplay. Gameplay in Aquanauts Holiday takes place in a first-person perspective and consists primarily of the player exploring vast stretches of ocean, occasionally discovering underwater ruins or treasure, or communicating with underwater creatures. The game has no time limits, enemies, or other obstacles. The game's objective, aside from exploring, is to build a large coral reef to attract a wide variety of fish and other marine wildlife. Topic. Development Aquanauts Holiday was developed by the Japanese studio Art Dink and directed by Kazutoshi Iida. The game designer was also behind Art Dink's Tale of the Sun and later headed development of Doshin the Giant for the Nintendo GameCube. Topic. Reception On release, Famicom Sushin scored Aquanauts Holiday a 24 out of 40. The game won a Japan Software Award in 1996. Critical reception has been mixed. USA Magazine Next Generation reviewed the game as an import prior to its release in North America, commenting that Seen from a first-person perspective, AH's exotic sea life and realistic landscapes soon have you believing you really are exploring the floor of the ocean. And though the gaming aspect is a little on the subtle side, it's enjoyable just swimming around. They scored it 4 out of 5 stars. Their later, much briefer review of the domestic release lowered the score to 2 stars and said points for effort, but most gamers will be bored. IGN stated that Aquanauts Holiday does not truly qualify as a game, but instead, a fun and immersive 3D underwater sim of the most relaxing kind. Sean Sackenheim of Allgame likewise called the game to be a great stress reliever and complimented its beautiful presentation and rewarding gameplay model. Victor Lucas of the Electric Playground agreed that the graphics were mostly impressive, but ultimately found the combination of exploration gameplay and atmospheric music extremely boring. Nowgamer was also unimpressed, summarizing, unless you've got more money than cents, our advice is to save your pennies and spend them on a title that truly pushes the PlayStation to its technical limits without relying on the contents of Captain Birdseye's pantry. Topic. Sequels Aquanauts Holiday was followed by a few Japan-exclusive sequels. Aquanauts Holiday, Memories of Summer 1996 and Aquanauts Holiday 2 were released on the PlayStation in 1996 and 1999 respectively and were later made available for download on the PlayStation 3 and PlayStation Portable in 2008. Another game, Aquanauts Holiday, Hidden Memories, was released for the PlayStation 3 in 2008. <laughs>